a possible teammate or possibly be traded for like one of the guys that you idolized uh, growing up? I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's been a uh, last couple of weeks, so many, many rumors. Um, for me as a player, I try to be out of those uh, news, just try to be focused on, on the game, focus on the things you can control, you know, everything uh, outside the basketball and, and the things I can do it. It's not, not my business. Um, as far as I know, Mark, you know, a great, great player, uh, one of the best centers in the league. Uh, I think he can help a lot of uh, any team he goes, and uh, especially young guys, he will learn a lot from him. So you and Luca, great second year. Can you talk about your guys' relationship? I mean, we are we are uh, we are brothers. Uh, Luca's my little brother. I know he's uh, he's uh, 13 when he was in Madrid. Uh, so I'm very happy, I'm very proud of the way he's playing, the way he's uh, you know getting better and developing every every day. Um, I think he got a long way to go. He, he, he keep working the same way, but uh, definitely I'm very proud, proud of Luca. Did you expect for him to have the, such an immediate impact in the NBA? Uh, three triple doubles already in his, in his first. Uh... I think I think uh, the people who really know him, uh, we don't know are that surprised, you know. Um, the only thing that surprised me is like how quick he gets used to the NBA, you know, the NBA rhythm. I think he's very talented. He, he dominated Europe last year. Um, he was ready to take the next level in the NBA. Um, the way he played, the way he worked, I think everything he's doing on the court uh, for the people who, they, who know him uh, doesn't surprise.